physicsacademyonline.com we teach physics in an interesting and engrossing way in this lecture we shall learn about impulse and impulse momentum theorem to define impulse as a force we need to go back to an earlier lecture on newton's second law of motion we have learned there that if there is a net external force f acting on a particle then f can be expressed to be is proportional to rather the rate in ch rate of change in momentum of the particle we can write from here that f is coming out to be a constant of proportionality k into dp dt and then defining unit force in a suitable way we can set this k is equal to 1 and my equation boils down to f is equal to dp dt so this is the expression we'll be starting with today in our lecture where f is standing for the net external force acting on a particle p is the momentum so dp dt is the rate of change in momentum of the particle with time you have noted here that both momentum p and the force f they are vectors while the time t is a scalar quantity now suppose the force itself in the most general case it's a function of time and initially at time t1 particles momentum was p1 when the force started to act on the particle the later time t2 momentum has changed to p2 vector so here we have got the interval over which the force is acting that's t2 minus t1 and momentum change as the force acts is given by momentum final p2 minus momentum initial p1 so coming back to this equation what we can do is that we can rearrange the terms and separate the differentials we strongly believe if students follow video lectures regularly and clear their doubt effectively through physicsacademyonline.com they will attain enough expertise to perform confidently to reach their academic goals in board level examinations or any competitive examinations anywhere in the world.